And uh, we've been joined in studio by Superintendent Michael Amwakwata. He is the head of public relations for the Ghana Immigration Service to find out really what are some of the strategies they have come up with from that meeting and how they intend to implement them. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. This has been named a special meeting of commanders uh, from uh, commanders, regional commanders and sector commanders. What are some of the strategies that have been you know, proposed to make sure that our borders are safe? Yeah, thank you. Um, it's special in the sense that uh, in recent times we've realized that there is some surge in crime and most especially some of these criminal activities are perpetrated by non ghanaians foreign nationals who are here. And as the agency of state mandated to manage our borders and also to control and monitor foreign nationals here, the Control General gave it fit to call for this special meeting where regional commander sectors and also heads of our intelligence enforcement and operation unit, we all came together to try to analyze the various threats that confront the service or the country. We categorize them and do our analysis. Then we try to find measures to counter such threats. And out of this special meeting, and like the Control General said, we have proposed to enhance visibility and patrols at identified unapproved routes. Mm. And secondly, not just to be visible and patrol, but then we also intend to make this unapproved route some permanency of patrolling. So we intend to put up some structures there so that our men will be there 24-7, not that they'll go and patrol and come back to base. Okay. We, we think this will be enough deterrence for anyone who may be lacking in the bushes or river bodies or whatever. To, to, to come in. Then secondly, we want to engage the community along the border lines, what we call the uh, border residents. At times they are involved mm -hmm. in crossing people through footpaths and farm areas and all that. So we want to engage them and, and, and in a way to try to put a stop to that kind of illegal crossing. Then we are also looking at uh, increasing the number of border patrol officers that we have, especially in areas that we have identified as prone areas for this illegal crossing. So some of, these are some of the measures. Some of the that, measures, okay. Yeah. Um, is, it, is it now that it is dawning on the uh, immigration service to put up posts, proper structures, as, you, uh, as you've just said, at some of the entry points? No, no. Um, um, Way back last year, um, from the second quarter to about the first quarter of this year, we, we, we heightened our, our enforcement operations and also patrols along the borders. Even before this recent uh, terror alerts that came, that Burkina, Ghana, Mali, and others were to be targeted, we had increased our patrols and also had plans of uh, uh, putting some permanent Structures patrolling there. at some of these unapproved rules that are prone to be used by, by, by miscreants. So there's something that has been ongoing and is being given impetus now that the terrorists seem to be getting closer to us. Mm. Then you also say you're going to be engaging communities along the borderline um, to, so they can detect and warn or what exactly? We, we need the cooperation of these border residents. Mm. One, for them to give us information. Okay. Because it will not be possible for us to be across all that long stretch of land. Then even beyond that, okay. within in town, uh, on about enforcement, one of the strategies that we are coming up with very soon is to engage landlords and property owners mm. who rent out their properties to non ghanaians Because okay. in our various operations, you realize that where we go in, you find out that these non ghanaians are operating from properties and residences that were rented out to them by Ghanaians. Okay. And then they are using these properties to engage in cyber fraud and other criminal activities that will be detrimental to the security of the country. Of the country. So, okay. yeah. We, 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 in wrapping up, there's this concern also. We know that you've been given parliamentary approval to wield weapons. And we know the kind of threat that these terrorists you know, pose. Sometimes they could come not just without weapons, but come attacking straight away at some of the border posts. 
have your men been given those weapons? Have they been taken through adequate training? And are they prepared to fight fire with fire if we get there? Rightly so. We, our training is a full package. We do weapon training on, on armed combat and all that. The, even without the weapons coming in, and by the nature of our training, we, we have been able to man the borders without any fear or, or apprehension to our own safety. Once we have the training and the techniques in detecting who is coming in and what he has on his body, hmm. we are working. But with the weapons, at the last graduation that we held at our training school, the, the vice president gave that assurance that the process has got into the final stage. So okay. we are hoping that very soon our officers will be armed at the borders at the to be effective in patrolling the borders. Okay. We'll have to leave it here for now. We've been speaking with uh, Superintendent Michael Amuakwata. He's the head of public affairs for the Ghana Immigration Service. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Thank you for this having me.